It's the final edition of Weather for Weather Geeks here in the month of November, the waning hours of the month. It's blustery and chilly. I just stepped outside on my dinner break, and boy, it feels a lot colder than it actually is because the wind is still an issue uh, this evening. It's been an eventful day, so we're going to kind of recap things this evening and then uh, get into the forecast for the next several days, but also the month of December as a whole. The rain kind of overachieved in some spots last night and this morning uh, due to the convective nature of the uh, rainfall. We had some legit tropical downpours, including some one inch plus amounts in parts of Mahoning County in particular, Canfield to Boardman up to Youngstown, up into the Cortland Warren area as well. And at the airport, we picked up a little over an inch worth of rain, uh, pretty close to an inch down in southeastern Columbiana County around Glenmore, Calcutta. Also some one inch amounts cross I-80 into Mercer County and over towards Slippery Rock as well. So yeah, quite a bit of rain uh, last night and early in the day today. The rain tapered off as expected by the end of the morning. It was not uh, a mystery when our cold front came through today at the airport. The hourly temperature went from 53 to 44 in really just a matter of minutes. These are the observations at the top of each hour, but the cold frontal passage occurred uh, and temperatures dropped 8 or 9 degrees very, very quickly. And we settled into the lower 30s this afternoon and we're settling into the upper 20s in a lot of spots as of this recording. Hourly uh, wind gust data from the airport. We peaked at 41 miles per hour as our cold front rolled through with those tropical downpours during the middle of the morning today. The uh, wind chill is still an issue this evening. It's been as low as the teens as of the top of the hour at uh, 7 o'clock. The wind chill at the Youngstown Warren Airport. A brisk 23 degrees. All right, so the numbers are in for the month of November, and it was a streaky month. Uh, we've talked about this several times. Kind of a sandwich month, if you will. It started mild. It ended pretty mild in between. A long stretch of pretty cold weather from the 13th through the 20th. Um, but it came out in the wash as 2.2 degrees warmer than the average when you factor in both highs and lows. And when you factor in highs and lows for meteorological or climatological fall or autumn, uh, September, October, November, it ended up being about 2 degrees warmer than the average, kind of similar to the November numbers because September was slightly warmer than average, October was slightly cooler than average. Those two months were kind of a wash, and then November ended up being about 2.2 above average, so the season as a whole ends up being about 2 degrees warmer than the average. Wet month. Uh, we had a couple of big ticket rainfall days at the Youngstown Warren Airport, including 1.05 today, 2.31 back on the 11th, and a few days ago on Sunday we had... 0.59. That brings our monthly total, our final total, to 4.4 inches. That's good for 10th place on the list of wettest Novembers on record. Interestingly, a couple of other recent wet Novembers, 2017, 2010. A couple of years that share some similarities, I think, to uh, the late fall and upcoming winter. We've been talking a lot about 2010 as a good analog for the uh, winter season. And... Uh, this probably will be our coldest December since 2017. Again, the last time we had a pretty wet November. Interesting how that uh, kind of works out. This is the uh, uh, December outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, CPC. And I like what they have. It might be still even a little conservative in our area. Odds are pretty strong for a colder than average month uh, across the upper Midwest and near the Canadian border. For us, you know, we're not in the deep blues here, but I think the smart money is on it being... Uh, colder than average. Now, does that mean every day is going to be freezing cold or we're going to set records and that sort of thing? No. But this pattern has the hallmarks of a pretty cold one at least for a while, starting uh, early next week and then taking us through the middle portions of the month. Maybe the cold tries to relax at times during the second half of December. Not real high confidence on that, but high confidence in the overall pattern being one that favors cold. Maybe not a lot of extremes, but cold. And, you know, this is just it's not something we've been used to. Um, I showed you a graphic a few days ago about uh, the last 11 years. We've only had a few cold Decembers uh, since 2011, and we haven't had one since 2017. Uh, we're going to skip this because that looks like that color is all messed up. I was going to compare uh, this December to last December, but I grabbed the wrong graphic there. Uh, basically, the idea is last December here locally was the fourth warmest on record, and nationally it was a mild December. This year... Uh, should be quite a bit different. All right, moving on and talking about the short-term forecast. Uh, tonight, the lake effect machine will try to crank a little bit, but conditions aren't real favorable for a big lake effect event. But an inch or two or three will be common up towards I-90 in Ashtabula County, parts of uh, Lake County, northern Geauga County, and even a handful of inches once you're over towards Erie, PA, into southwestern New York. In our TV viewing area, 
Uh, kind of like we talked about last evening, this isn't going to be much, but could the ground get dusted or whitened here and there with some flurries, mainly up near the borders, near that Ashtabula line, near that Crawford line? Yeah, it's going to be possible late tonight, first thing tomorrow morning. Aside from the flurries, you know, the wind and some sunshine dried out a lot of surfaces this afternoon after about an inch worth of rain last night. Um, but some surfaces, no doubt, still are a little bit damp. If they didn't get much sun, if they're a little sheltered from the wind, and with temperatures dropping way below freezing tonight, uh, anything that remains a little bit damp is certainly going to freeze. So maybe a few patches of black ice, something to concern ourselves with overnight. I don't think it's a widespread thing. The wind will help um, with that, but uh, something I can't totally rule out. Uh, clouds will hang tough through first thing tomorrow morning, then it'll actually turn pretty bright for a Thursday afternoon. First day of December, though, about 7 degrees colder than the average. Uh, some clouds for a time tomorrow night, first thing Friday morning. It turns out mostly sunny for a time, and then clouds return later Friday. But with this warm front sliding through, this will be a noticeable warm-up Friday afternoon, getting well up into the 40s, a few degrees above the average. But a cold front on Saturday, which bears a lot of similarities to today's front. The timing may be a, a couple of hours later than today, more towards early afternoon, but still the idea is the same. Showers, gusty winds, maybe even stronger winds than we had today, uh, for a few hours anyway on Saturday, and tumbling temperatures. Uh, we'll go from the 50s again back into the 30s in, in a matter of uh, a few hours, uh, probably early in the afternoon on Saturday. All right, uh, big doings in downtown Youngstown on Friday. It is the annual holiday parade and tree lighting ceremony right in the heart of downtown. It's not going to be chilly, but it will be breezy. So it's going to feel cooler than it actually is. Temperatures will be mostly in the mid 40s, but a wind chill in the 30s. Maybe there's a sprinkle before the evening is through, but I suspect we are largely dry just with thickening clouds for our Friday evening. So after that Saturday front, a uh, colder day Sunday, and uh, then we bounce back into the 40s early next week. Despite all the talk of a cold December, and I do think that that is warranted, I don't see any winter storm threats anytime in the foreseeable future. And what I mean by foreseeable future is, you know, we can we can have a good sense as to the uh, the day-to-day -day or sensible weather a week to 10 days out. And in that week to 10 day period, I don't see any winter storm threats. Beyond that, we can say that it looks like a cold pattern. It may become favorable for some wintry mischief, but all of that is in the is far enough into the future that we really can't speculate much more than that. All right, we'll uh, talk more about the weekend and much, much more on Thursday's edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. You can watch it right in the same place you're watching it right now, whether it be on YouTube or on my social media.